there you are. I can take you in to see the kings when you're ready. What do I need to know before I go in? Ah, that's right. You've never had an audience with the two kings. Kings Papsanias and Akidamos share rulership. Impress them both, and your home will be returned to you. I didn't expect this to be pleasant. Waiting won't make this easier. They won't look kindly on you asking for favors without offering some kind of help first. Like taking care of the soldiers arming the Ilotes. I'm tired of doing people favors. Let's get this over with. Come on then. Your mother's waiting inside. Archidamos. I yield. Another two squadrons to Vietir, then. As I said. Is that how they solve arguments? Sometimes. Archidamos's guard has improved. He should thank me. Prasidas, you've come with news. Let's hear it. My kings. May I present Merini, descendant of Leonidas, and her daughter Cassandra. I heard you'd come back. How dare you step foot on Spartan soil? I should cut it off for what you did. They helped us secure Corinthia, my king. I beg you to listen. They are descendants of Leonidas. For that reason alone, they should be allowed to speak. And if we don't like what they have to say, you can chop off any limb you see fit. Speak, Marini. Why are you here? I have returned to reclaim my Spartan citizenship. To reclaim our home. You exiled yourself. Your daughter killed an elder and ran. Not to mention the crooked nose she gave you. My family was betrayed, my king. Sparta was betrayed. We've come to expose these traitors. <laughs> you haven't cared for Sparta for many years. Then blame me. I killed the Elder. I started all of this. So if you want someone to prove their loyalty, it should be me. I'm not sure if I should congratulate you on your honesty, or punish you for the crime you've just confessed. Marini has made her intentions known. What are yours? My intentions are to return home. Here, where I was born. What happened on Tychedos brought shame on Sparta. You and your family have no home here. First, prove yourself loyal. Bring glory to Sparta, and redeem yourself in the eyes of the gods. Until then, neither you nor your mother have a right to your lands. Tell me what I must do, and it will be done. The Spartan army fights the Athenians in the Odea. Join the commanders there. Come back victorious, or do not return. You expect me to win a war when your own troops can't? My troops will crush any army under Helios. And if you want your home back, you'll go to the Odea and mind your tongue! Good. You're learning. You will find my commander out of Mount Helicon. Give him this and tell him I sent you. Not so fast. Two kings, two tasks. Heracles completed twelve. Two shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> First Spartan thing you've said all day. The Olympics will be starting soon in Elise. 
And our fighting champion requires an escort. You want me to be an escort? I want you to make sure the Spartans return with a wreath. <coughs> That's how she'll bring glory to Sparta? By winning an event in the Olympics? Not an event, my king. By making sure Sparta wins the entire Olympics. Perfect. One last thing. When you come asking a favor, it is customary to bring a gift. But you didn't. So now I will choose your gift for you. A wolf has been attacking farmers on the Discuri Peninsula. People say it's King Lacaon himself, cursed by Zeus to live out his days as a wolf. I will kill this animal and bring you its head. You have your orders. We'll see you when your tasks are completed. If they're completed. I'll get them done. And you'll give us back our home. There's some Spartan left in you after all. Brasidas. Show them out. Next! That went well. Considering you still have your head on your shoulders, yes, I'd say it went very well. The kings were generous to give us a second chance. And all I have to do is win the Olympics. And a war. Is there anything you need to know before setting off? What's going on in Viotia? The Athenian army is pushing Sparta back bit by bit. Winning won't be easy. If anyone can turn the tide there, it's you. What do you know about this uh, fighting champion I'm supposed to take to the Olympics? The Pankratian fighter. His trainer will know where he is. My thanks. Things are not quite what they seem. But you must keep this champion safe at all costs to succeed. I will. Tell me about this wolf. It's under a curse? It's causing a lot of trouble on the Dioscori Peninsula. You'll be doing the people there a favor if you get rid of it. Where can I find it? I'd start near Deros Cave. That's where it was last seen. One of the kings is a cultist. So one of these tasks is surely a trap. But which one? Brasidas? Wouldn't say that within earshot of the palace. But I fought with both of them. I can't believe either is a traitor. We need to find proof before we make any accusations. Keep your eyes open. I think I'm ready. And you? What will you do while I'm gone? I received a message just before we went in. What kind of message? A clue to the whereabouts of another cultist. I'm going to Arcadia. Alone? The fates are smiling on us. I was ordered there. We can travel together. That would be helpful. My thanks. I'll meet you both in Arcadia then. Safe journeys. Grandfather was a true hero. You're not one of my soldiers. You better have a good reason for being here. We Spartans stand together. So here I am. Yes. Spartan blood matters most. Looks like this victory will bring you glory. The rewards of skill and effort. It's the Spartan way. From slave to general, bathing in the blood of this war while our leaders stuff their faces and preen. The Polemarchos believe it's an easy victory. I will end this war in my favor. You have a strategy? Athenian Polemarchos are paralyzed with indecision. They serve too many masters. Making them slow to react. And that's where you come in. Infiltrate their forts and kill the Polemarchos. I need a way clear for my troops. I'll do my part. Consider the commanders already dead. Bring me their Athenian seals as proof? 
You'll be rewarded for your efforts. You're new. If it's training you want, we don't just take anyone. I'd appreciate training with a master such as yourself, but that's not why I'm here. Oh! King Popsanias asked me to bring the Pankration champion to Elise. Forgive me. I didn't know a royal messenger was coming. I'm Alcon, Testicles trainer. Cassandra. ...of Sparta. If I may offer some advice before you get him... ...Testicles can be... ...difficult. A gift of oil is known to put a person on his good side. Oil? A muscle rub. He believes it imbues him with the power of Heracles. Look in the village of Githion. His favorite merchant is there. Winning the wreath is important for Sparta. You think he can do it? The other day, he knocked out six men and a bull, and he only went to the market to buy fruit. That's why I had to send him to the island. Where can I find your champion? I sent Testicles to train on a small island in the Bay of Hades. It's good for him there, isolated, away from people. Look for the shipwreck of Nestor on the southern shore. Can you tell me anything about Pankration? It's a mix of boxing and wrestling. A fearsome test of skill. Champions come from the farthest corners of the world to compete in Olympia, but not all walk away. I can't wait to see it. I need to get this champion of yours to Elise. I hope he lives up to your promise. Oh, he will. Look for his camp on the southernmost island in Messinia. Good luck. I should get that oil. Anything that'll make it easier to get testicles to the Olympics. You, are you Cassandra of House Ayad? I am. I am Xanthi, Magistrate of Pitana. I have a noble task befitting someone of your high station. My son is to start his military training at the Agoyi. My husband is away at war, and I have official business to attend to. Can you escort him for me? I can escort your son to the camp, Master. Good. He'll learn how to be a man like his father and brother, or he'll die trying. But my service needs to be rewarded. Of course, you would be paid well for your time. And they say Spartans don't speak sweetly. My youngest is a dreamer. 
His head is filled with boyhood stories. He must learn how to serve his nation first, and then his family. It's not an easy path. He will find glory as a true Spartan soldier, or die bravely in the attempt. There is no greater way to honor Sparta. You'll find the Agogi camp southwest of here, near the foothills of the mountains. Makarios, come here. Hello. I'm Cassandra. I am honored to meet you, Eagle Battle. I can't wait to learn to fight like my brother Theoros, and to hear all your stories of deadly monsters and glorious adventures. This way, Cassandra. The Argogi is up in the mountains, so we get there closer to Olympus. What's it like being a mercenary? I do what I must to get by. My brother said the same thing about being a man in Sparta. We learn to fight, to die for our family and our country. I can't wait. You love your home, eh? I do. We are strong and we are free. And any man would happily give his life for his city, his fellow soldiers, and his children. So uh, how many children do you have? Oh, no, none. But when I'm older, I'm going to marry Athena, and will have the strongest sons. <laughs> Well, then. Do you know why a Spartan soldier can lose his helmet or spear without worry? But if he loses his shield, he is punished beyond all measure. Tell me. It is because a soldier needs his helmet and spear to defend only himself. Stay on your guard! His shield is dearly important for the safety of his so brothers and the whole battle line. Stand your ground! Life ends. Hot and messy. What of your brother? Theoros? He's the best. He's amazing to watch in the games. He's fast and strong, and he can throw the javelin and discus farther than anyone. Oh, yes? I'm faster than anyone my age, but Theoros is like Heracles himself. He sounds like a god made flesh. He's my hero. He even sings like Orpheus. Do you want to hear me sing? So mother says I sing like a harpy. No, that's okay. I'll be glad to meet him. Kere, I bring you a new charge, trainer. Makarios, son of Serios. Yes, sir. I can't wait to see my brother. Quiet, boy. No questions. You'll focus on your own lessons and duties, and speak when spoken to. Yes, sir. You'll taste dirt and blood here. I'll force you to eat a thousand bitter lessons to harden you into the bronze shield your city needs. Yes, sir. Now, Mistios. You look like you've been in a few scrapes. I don't waste breath describing my exploits, or trying to scare children. You speak like a Spartan! Let's see if you've learned anything else. Let's give these kids a show, they'll sing off for years. Wow, what a battle! You fought like Atalanta! <sighs> You do fight with the strength of the gods. Itepetes, Grateri, 
Οι φυτενείς, τα σπόδας κλείσατε. Οι φυτενείς, οι φυτενείς, δεν... Now that we know you can fight, I have a serious matter to discuss. Oh? Two of my older students have gone missing. And I need someone I can trust to find them. They should know enough to take care of themselves. Yes. But the world is full of unexpected dangers, and I cannot leave my charges to investigate properly. I can look for them. Tell me what I need to know. What were their last orders? I had sent them to a lookout camp, where they were to survive on their own for a few days. It is up to them to treat it seriously. But when I went to check on them, there was no sign. What dangers did you expect them to face? The students learned to watch for wolves and bears. But I saw no spore. Hmm. Perhaps a different sort of beast. The two students who are missing are called Akamas and Theoros. Theoros? Makarios' brother? The same. I fear I have failed the magistrate. I'll look at the campsite and see what I can find. Burnt patch. Someone dropped a torch in surprise. Lost shield. That is a bad omen. Signs of battle. Body. Hmm. He doesn't look much like Macarius or Xanthi. Must be the other boy. Trail. Someone ran towards the mountain heights. Could be Theoros. Found him. I need to stay hidden. Oh! 
Gods, be good. Please untie me. You have my, my gratitude, warrior. I was certain I would not see another day. What's your name? Theoros. Your brother worships you, and will be overjoyed to see you. Makarios, has the time come for him to join the Agogi already? Yes, he already studies with trainer Iatroclis. Curse all of Olympus! He isn't ready for this. The world is tough, but if we look out for those we love, we can shield them from at least a little harm. I do not know that I can face my brother, all my brothers, again. Of course you can. Makarios worships you, but you can use that love to fuel your bravery and defeat your fear. Retrieve your shield from where you left it and return to the Agoyi. Soon you'll embrace your brother again. Thank you, my friend. I will. Please, tell my mother that her sons will do the family proud. Off we go now. Ella. What do you have to share with me, Mistios? Makarios is well placed at the Agogi. The trainer, Iatroclis, will be a hard taskmaster, but he will grow strong and brave. God's willing, he'll find a way to endure and thrive. It is not easy to send one's heart into the world. He's eager and bright, and he has Theoros there to guide and inspire him. They will support each other. You demonstrate the wisdom of Athena, Eagle Bearer. You are a blessing to this family. There are several in the region who could benefit from your presence, Eagle Bearer. Help them, inspire them, and I'll reward you. Give me their names. The farm owner, Laniki, as well as several of the town's important women, Zita, Zamia, and Zefxo. Who is this farm owner? 
Laniki runs the farm for her family. Recently, it has been underperforming. She blames the gods and believes the land is cursed. But I wonder if she's too quick to punish her Ilotes. What does it need? Her daughter, Zotheras, is as wild and headstrong as an untamed filly. Zita constantly prays for guidance, but I suspect Zotheras needs a more grounded hand to direct her. What should I know about Damia? She has two precocious children who rule the roost in the Agora. They reduce their tutors to tears and stir up the other age mates. She is hoping you can instill some respect in them. What can you tell me about Zefxo? Her husband is off training for war, and she specifically requested an audience with you for help with something quite personal. I'll find them and see what they want of me. May the Dioscuri watch over your path. O oh, Ira and Aphrodite, please grant my daughter the virtue of obedience. Eagle Bearer, you bless this temple with your presence. If I may ask, I'm having a little problem. I'm not a problem. I'm a Spartan. You keep at home supervising farmers while I could be out in the world finding adventure. You give my brothers the chance to explore. Why not me? An explorer, are you? So, you're the eagle bear everyone's been talking about. I hope you live up to your reputation. I'm Zophiras. Could you please educate my daughter to behave as a Spartan woman should? If both you and Zophiras agree, I'll train your daughter to be a fine Spartan. Beginning with her physical strength, of course. It's the only way she can keep your household safe and prosperous. The eagle bearer is right, Mater. Spartan women must be strong. You can call me Cassandra. I suppose if the Eagle Bearer says it. All right. Train my daughter as you see fit. Let's begin your training with running. Try to keep up. But Spartans never run. Only cowards do. Why should I train in running? Strong legs mean you'll thrust your spear with more force. And yours do seem very strong. Let's race through the theater to the entrance of the Dromos. Last one there's a wounded goat. you win. I hate when people do that. Now we'll race horses. But not like they do in athletic games. We'll make our own course. Horses? Why should I bother with those filthy beasts? We have Ilotes for that.
Horses are beasts of muscle and power. You'll never understand until you hold one between your thighs. Well, when you put it that way, ride on. Let's race to the bridge south of Sparta. Ready? Go! Ugh. I wasn't feeling so good today. Don't blame the beast for your shortcomings. How are my lessons so far, Zophiras? Not bad. But why did you decide to teach me anyway? Don't you have more exciting things to do? Treasures to find, tyrants to depose. The secret is, by teaching a skill to someone else, you're also improving your own technique. That's the only way you'll both reach peak performance. You'll have to show me your technique. Do you have a suggestion for our next bit of training? There's a place I found in the southern hills with a wonderful view. Will you go there with me? I like the view already, but let's go. So, does that bird follow you everywhere? Icarus! Yes, he likes to keep an eye on me. Are you jealous? <laughs> if you don't mind being watched, I don't either. Did Zeus give you any special powers? You know, Achilles got invulnerability, and at least the strength of a god. If you know the old stories, you know what Zeus is especially good at. If you have that kind of talent, just call me Pandora. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely. I think I'm beginning to understand you, Cassandra. Are you? Tell me, who do you think I am? You answer my questions with such passion and authority. You like being in charge, don't you? You might be right. But really, why did you bring me out here? I thought we might continue our training with something more... personal. But you seem exhausted from keeping up with me for so long. Thanks for the exercise, though. Oh, I have to train more myself.
Magistrate Xanthi told me that you've been having trouble with your farm. Crop failure. It's as if Ares herself salted the earth. How are the crops failing? Blight. Few plants grow, and the ones that do are wilted and covered in spots. The gods would never let this happen if they were happy. It's my godless Elotes, I tell you. You're a messenger of Zeus. You show them the light. I'll find out what's happening. Oh, thank Zeus. My Elotes, Tefta and Maron, they work the fields, but they do not respect the gods. Teach them. I haven't seen other farms in the area with blighted crops. What could be causing the difference? The grain grew in short and dry. Then the animals started to grow ill. Obvious signs of displeasing Persephone or her mother. Maron claims the animals have been poisoned, but I have no enemies to speak of. What makes you blame your Elotes for the blight? Have they tampered with the plants and animals? They do not worship as you and I do. I thank Dimitir for all she gives us at the end of each day. But they just reap the bounty of her hard work. So... it's divine intervention. What else dictates our fates? Oh, Defta won't stop babbling about the soil. Thinks I overwork my farm. Idiot woman. As if this farm hasn't been in my family for generations. I'll go talk with Yorilotes and see what they know. Mistios. Here. Your master claims this blight is the will of the gods. What do you think? Sometimes crops fail. Could be dry soil, could be insects. It's a shame about the donkey. He was more crucial to the farm's success than the master. Or you, for that matter. How can I make clearing the ground easier? The hoe I'm using is falling apart. I have to fix the blade every few swings. Something more sturdy would make it go faster. It's not like you're shackled to this patch of land. What's preventing you from getting a new hoe? Have you ever been beaten so hard you lose hearing in one of your ears? That's what happened last time I went to market without permission. Oh, of course. I'll look for one. Here you go. This should make digging easier. You're all right for a stranger. Look, the water's tasted like a rusty blade for the past few weeks. Last time I had water like that was when I was downriver from a blacksmith. Thank you. Mold to death. May your journey across the sticks be a more peaceful end than this. Debris might be getting stuck in this net. Maybe the dead man was a fisherman. don't look like the knife wounds of a man. I'll bet it's the metal from the armor giving the water a bad taste.
smell is going to linger on me. At least the river runs clear now. Heard that the crops haven't been producing this season. Laniki expects more crops every year. The soil needs to rest. So there could be nothing else causing crop shortage? I didn't say that. You know more than you're saying. My stomach aches and it's hard to concentrate. It's a shame that there is no mint around to chew. Where would I get mint? The master keeps dried herbs up at the house. You can't get mint for yourself, because... The master keeps all the medicine. I can pick and dry the herbs, but I'm not allowed any for myself. I'll go find some mint for you. Here you go. The herbs you needed. Fresh is better for my stomach, but since the blight... ...dried is all we have left. The back patch of land is riddled with blight like I've only seen once before. My old master lost his whole farm to it. I'll never forget the smell. The back of the farm? I'll take a look. I wonder anything grows in this field with all this mess crushing the plants. Tanners in Kefalonia use something that smells awful to make leather. It can't be good for the soil. The earth is stained here. That can't be good for the soil. It seems like fire is the only way to make sure of ending this blight.
I have to tidy everything up around here. Now I'm beginning to understand Tefta's anger. The diseased crops have been burned, and the river is cleared. That should be the last of the blight. Oh, you truly are God sent. What was the cause of the rot? You were so busy looking to the sky that you ignored what was in front of you. The gods are not responsible for cleaning the fields or the river. That's on you. What? You dare? Xanthi said you are an agent of Zeus, but you are a false champion as godless as my Elotes. Get out from here! The poison in your fields is nothing compared to the poison in your heart.
You are the eagle bearer. Wonderful. Magistrate Xanthi has spoken highly of you. Very kind of her. So here's the thing. My children have promising futures, but they refuse to learn and study. They think they know better, but they can't recite a poem to save their lives. Where do I fit into this? They've heard of the eagle bearer and worship the ground you walk on. If you related an epic story to them, I bet they retain it and impress their tutors. It's an odd request, but uh, I've been asked to do stranger things. I'll do it. My children are waiting inside the temple of the Onisos Colonatas for today's epic story. The subject is Perseus, which they should know well, but seem to forget all when questioned. Perseus? I know his story well, as if we were cousins, both raised at the base of Mount Olibos. Do not fear. I will hold your children fast with my tail. I'm... The Eagle Banner. We've heard all about you. Are you going to tell us a story today? Do we have to listen? We've heard it a hundred times. Yes, that's me. And yes, I'm telling you a story. Let us sing with the voice of the goddess about the exploits of brave Perseus and the noble Pegasus. Great god of the sea, Poseidon, visited a mortal woman, Sarah, a fisherman's daughter. The god of the sea frolicked with her in the shape of a dolphin, and she knew his love. Ugh! Is this a kissing story? Relax, I'm just setting it up. Soon Sarah gave birth to a child, the half-blood hero Perseus. I thought Perseus' mother's name was the Nile, like my sister. Yeah, and his father was Zeus. Uh, well, that's true in some versions. Anyway, at some point, baby Perseus fell off a boat and almost drowned. A kindly old couple, Amphitryon and Alcmini, found Perseus in the sea and brought him to their farm in Smalpolis, taking him as their son. What about his mom, my namesake? Shh, listen. Ira was angry, though, and sent snakes to kill the baby. But Perseus was too strong, and he strangled the snakes in his crib, revealing his godly nature. That doesn't sound right. There are different ways to tell the story, you know. And this story is for the crows? When Perseus grows up, he travels to Iope and falls in love at first sight with the beautiful princess Andromeda. However, Andromeda's mother boasts that her daughter is more beautiful than the goddess Thetis, offending her. Never say you are better than the gods. Thetis proclaims that Andromeda must be sacrificed to the gods, or else the whole city of Iope will be destroyed. I don't think that's right. Wasn't Adromeda an Ethiopian princess? Hush! Perseus asks his grandmother, Tala, how to save his love. She turns into a manta ray 
and says to save Andromeda, he must bring back curly hair of gold, fit for the king of the mountains, who yet owns less than the humblest elot. I don't know that riddle. It's too hard! Uh, it was hard for Perseus, too. But eventually, he figured it out. How? He just did his own. Perseus figured out what he needed. The golden fleece of the winged ram. Said to be guarded by a monster who could turn any to stone. Luckily, Perseus was blessed by the gods. And he was guided by Athena's golden-geared owl to the monster's lair. Athena's golden owl? That's dumb. Sounds cute. I want one. And armed with the vorpal sword from mighty Olethros, he faced the snake-necked, large-headed, shaggy-maned, stony-gazed Katovlebas. Huh? Perseus avoided the Katovlepas' killing gaze and snicked the sword, lopping off the creature's head. Ew! He grabbed the golden fleece and wrapped the Katovlepas' head in it. Then flew back home astride winged Pegasus to save Andromeda, who was about to be eaten by the Kraken. He used the deadly head to turn the Kraken to stone. Wait! The what? What's a Kraken? Uh, like a giant squid? Don't you mean the sea monster Ketos? <laughs> Pretty sure Homer said, release the Kraken, not release the Ketos. You just made that up. Perseus traveled to Argos with his family, and one day competed in the great athletic games. He hurled the discus, and his throw was so great that it shot into the stands and struck King Acrisios. So doing, Perseus killed his grandfather and fulfilled the prophecy. Hurrah! You can't escape your fate. In the end, Perseus and Andromeda settled in Mykine as king and queen, and had seven sons and two daughters, the Perside. Wow, that was so wrong and so boring. You are a sticky storyteller, and that story was poop! I am sorry for your audience, Evil Bearer. Though from what I heard, it did sound like you deviated somewhat from the traditional tale. Ah, uh, apologies. Time for a ride.
wouldn't happen to be the eagle bearer, would you? Me? Yes, I am. Words do you know, Justice. Your hair must have been woven by Athena. Your body is like a sculpture made by the masters. And your arms look so strong. Strong enough to... Strong enough to... Strong enough to carry this basket to my husband, Kalibos. Oh, right. The Magistrate mentioned you. It'll be easy to carry. Thank you so much. Let me know if you need anything. Where might I find Kalibos? He's an important general. His unit is stationed in the northeast near the fort of Presai, down by the beach. What's in the basket? What any man would need on the eve of battle to win the respect of the gods. Please, Eagle Bearer. It would give him an edge over his enemies. I'll help with your delivery. What's in here? Bricks? Amistios? Well met. What brings you to our camp? You are Calibos? Your wife sent me to deliver this package. I think it might be some kind of offering. Zefxo is a good woman. She's gifted me with a basket fit for Dionysos. Earthly pleasures? She made it sound like it was a case of life and death. A deathly hangover, maybe. Boys, we're having a good night. Care to join us, friend? Are you sure you want your soldiers this intoxicated while in the field? Oh, I must have misjudged you. Are you not also a Spartan? The only thing we are better at than fighting is drinking. I see your point. Thank you for offering. I don't like to dull my senses this close to battle. I will stay and keep you and your men company through the night. Chaperoned by a messenger of Zeus? This will be interesting.
could someone pass the water skin? Oh, could someone pass my head? I think I left it farther down the beach. I didn't even drink last night. Why am I seeing a Trojan horse? We can offer it to Poseidon Earthshaker for safe passage across the sea. Careful! This was a trap the last time. I once boasted to a friend that I was a better tactician than Odysseus himself. Today I was proven wrong. You live to fight another day. Learn from this. Please, thank my wife for her festive gift. I don't know if I should thank her or curse her.
Move or I'll run you over. Move or you'll get hurt. Thank you for aiding all of us in Pitana. Stories of you will live amongst us for many years. I help where I can, but thank you. A reward for all your help. I can't see the appeal. I see her.
Another. Sorry, closed. I need oil, then I'll be on my way. There's a special one that uh, Testicles uses. Ah, for Pankration fighters. That one has to be made fresh by the Master, and he's gone. I'm not leaving without it. You don't understand. I'm nearly free. You're a slave? Yes, and in a good position. Doing this would be stealing from him. Tell me, or I'll make you. Why would the Mystios care about a slave? I'll tell you, but not help you. Ah, light a fire and gently heat oil of Athena. This will aid the infusion. Once the oil is warm, add a rose petal, and it's done. Thank you. I hope it's worth my freedom. Let's see if I can get this right. It had to be heated. Now, what oil did I need? Oil of Apollo. Sounds good. Now, what did I need? For the final touch, a rose petal. Testicles would smell so good. I hope he appreciates this. Oh, it smells so good, I almost want to keep it for myself. You'd think they'd just kill each other, like everywhere else. That's the magic of the Olympics. should turn back before I sink.
Beast Slayer, I'm glad to see you again. The bull put up quite a fight, but his pelt is yours. You are remarkable. Years of training made me a warrior. Life as a Mystios has honed those abilities. Then, at the least, you should applaud yourself for your dedication to your art. The pelt of the Ligaon wolf. A wolf is not only a vicious predator, but a cunning adversary. Many have fallen before it. If I fall for something, it won't be a beast, but someone here on Hios. Don't talk of falling here. Rather think of ascending to new heights. I'll return when I have more pelts. Eagle bearer, here to share in our coming victory? You seem pretty confident about the battle ahead. Makes you so certain you'll win. After many skirmishes, we finally got those Athenian dogs cornered. With your help, we can send them running with their tails between their legs. <laughs> what do you say? Sparta has my sword and all my strength behind it. Glad to hear it. May Ares favor us today. Oh! 
So you die first! Oh, <laughs> 
for sale! Helm's ready for you! Commander leaving the helm! from the gods. It is a beautiful day. Ah, the blue seas, the sunny sky, good companions, an exciting journey. This, this is the good life. I see salvage! We should pick up that salvage!
That must be testicles. Fortification improves the stamina. <laughs> Testy cleaves. Another sip then training. Good for the constitution. Yeah. Testy cleaves the champion. What do you want from the great champion Testicles? Can't you see I'm busy? I'm here to take you to the Olympics. Olympics? Fuck yeah! I'm going to be the champion. Champion! Cause I'm Testicles! Good. Let's head sail. Oh no. Can't possibly go now. Training, see? And I don't know if I'm up to going sailing on your booty. I have something for you. A certain oil? My oil? Oh, I could kiss you. No, you couldn't. Here's your oil. Ah. Wait, what is this stinking piss? Are you all right? Yeah. Actually feel much better. Cleared my head right up. No time for a little drink to celebrate. Yeah. Sail first, drink later. To the Olympics! The people need me! Well, we going? <sighs> he better fucking win.
Themistocles, it's an honor to sail with you. Your victory at the Pythian Games is legendary. Yes, I am! What made you kick him in the head instead of going for a curve? Felt like it. Ah, improvisation. Keep your opponent off guard. A good strategy. Strategies for people who don't hit hard.
Under away! Everyone at ease! Let's go!
looks like quite the start! Welcome to the Olympic Games! The party has officially begun! Alcibiades, I'm uh, surprised you're wearing clothes. The day is young, little goat. Are you here to compete, Alcibiades? Of course. I enjoy other physical exertions from time to time. Sure. Who do you think will win the most wreaths this year? I will! Athens will surely rise to the occasion. I say Messenia! Has the sea air addled your mind? Sparta always takes Pankration, and many others too. You might know a lot about the past, but you know little about the future. Who's that? That is Thoriefs, the reigning champion. He's bloodthirsty, competitive, and has endurance to spare. Jealous? I don't think so. We haven't come all this way to stand on the dock. Quite right. Should you ever need a personal sparring partner... You? A skinny little Athenian? I'm the champion! Or gonna be... Sparta! <laughs> oh, a pity your brain isn't as... big as your muscles. Let's get going. <laughs> I need to be oiled before I go to the games. Well, I would have been happy to assist if you were in any state to compete. I like to be oiled. Well, that's obvious. Yeah. You know us. Come here. Gives us a hug. Surely he can swim. Well, it looks like you're the champion now. Huh? I can't believe he's gone. Unprecedented. And you want me to compete in the Olympics? Stepping into a dead man's sandals. And testicles isn't even digested yet. Oh, come, dear Cassie. Show them what you're made of. And show me while you're at it. Where do I go to fight in the Pankration? The stadium in Olympia, naturally. I do love a good rough and tumble. You know people die in these events. What else goes on, apart from the Pankration? There's javelin, 
Which, of course, you know how that works. The athlete thrusts the long, smooth spear forward. Yes, I know. And then there's the foot races and the horse races. Sweat everywhere. A delight for the eyes and the nose. I need that wreath for Sparta. If it means I have to compete, so be it. The event doesn't start just yet. We could look around first. Olympia at Truce is quite extraordinary.
Aber schenken wir ihm in Arbeit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Eh? Who's whistling? Someone there.
huh? Doesn't sound right. Ugh! <laughs> 
I'll find her if it's the last thing I do. Ugh! <sighs> 
Move aside! Is someone signaling? Sounds human. Better check it out.
anything to report? Nothing at all. Keep searching. Watch you don't get jumped. I'll watch your back. Understand? They're probably long gone by now. Fools, she got away. It will just be all the sweeter when we do catch the run. Where did that come from? I should check that. There's someone over there. I'm taking a look. Let's find her! Right away! Seen them yet? No sign of them! Don't give up! They are here somewhere! I can... You are an easy target! No! Something's going on. Oh. Guess it's up to me to find her. You should feel a little scared. <coughs> Time to die. <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
I keep this up, I'll change the balance of power. I'll take the body. Does any move?
many last words. Thank you. 